We are going to take a trip back in time to learn about prehistory, to know how the great adventure of the development of humans and their first inventions ever began. Welcome to the fun world for kids! Hello friends! The first thing you should know about prehistory is that it is the stage that goes from the origin of the human being until the invention of writing. It all started with the first humans in the Stone Age. This was the first period of development and evolution of man. And it is called the Stone Age because humans created mostly tools made of stone and wood or simple materials. The Stone Age, guys, is divided into three periods. The Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and the Neolithic. Let's learn about each of them. The Paleolithic period was the longest of the Stone Age. In this, the hominids, or the first man, such as Homo habilis, created tools of stone, wood, and bone to hunt and defend themselves. They lived by fishing, hunting, and gathering wild fruits. And did you know that the main species they hunted were mammoths, bison, and deer? Interesting, right? In addition, they were nomads. That is, they did not live in a fixed place, but traveled and moved constantly chasing the animals they hunted. In the Paleolithic era, these men were organized into small tribes. They lived in huts made with tree branches and animal skins, outdoors or in caves where they painted what we now know as hieroglyphs or the first known artistic representations. Today, there are some that we can still see. Wow, how incredible that after so many years, they are still visible. And also during the Paleolithic era, a great event took place. The discovery of fire. <laughs> then, and after several years, in fact centuries, these first men evolved to Homo sapiens, a more intelligent man who spread throughout the whole earth. With them began the domestication of the first animals. That is, they cared for and fed some animals, like dogs, sheep, goats and pigs, that served them as food. And they also started agriculture, or the cultivation of plants and cereals for their food. In this way guys, the Paleolithic era comes to an end and the Mesolithic period begins. This is when the first human settlements began to develop, better known as villages. Because with the crops and animals, the men and women of the time no longer needed to travel like their ancestors, so they became sedentary. After many years, the last period of the Stone Age begins, the Neolithic. In this period, guys, there is an important expansion of agriculture and livestock. And do you know what also started? Bartering, or the mechanism of exchange of objects, food, and animals. And in this way, the first large human populations or places where many humans live began to develop. Ah, oh, and also in this period, the first ceramic pieces and textiles were created. But, do you know what was the most important invention of the time? The wheel! It may not seem like a big deal, but in prehistoric times, the wheel was essential for the development of new inventions and to make life easier. It was how we created carts to move food and heavy things. Then guys, men and women began to develop tools made with metals, and in this way, a new era began. The Age of Metals. It is also divided into three eras. The Copper Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. 
In each one, they specialized in each material for the development of different tools. Thus, metallurgy, or the process by which humans extract metals from rocks, is born to make jewelry, such as rings or necklaces, and work tools and weapons. With this, commerce also began, where the people of this time exchanged many things such as crafts, food, weapons, among others, which helped some places to become large cities. And with this, boat trips began where people traveled from one place to another to exchange objects, knowledge, and inventions. How interesting are all these stages, right? But do you know how far prehistory goes? Good, because it goes until the appearance of writing. And with this important fact, another stage begins. History. But hey, that is another adventure that I will tell you all about later. Thank you for watching our video. Did you like what you learned? Subscribe and find many more videos so you can learn while having fun. You can also watch this video in Spanish on our channel Mundo Divertido de Niños. The link is in the description. Lots of love. Bye-bye.